Hi everyone, this is Harry and welcome to part 10 of the Last of Us walkthrough on Survivor Mode. So we are in Bill's town and we're off to go find Bill, Joel's friend, who will hopefully fix up with a car so we can get out of this place and get Ellie to the next bunch of fireflies. So in Bill's town, um, we've got 11 artifacts, 3 pendants, 5 optional conversations, a manual, two shift doors, a safe, and the tools level one, so we can finally start doing some upgrades using all those parts we've been collecting. So this section is called the woods, as you can tell, and yeah, let's crack on. No, more, no matter what you do, you can't stop that bird from flying away. You can't shoot it either. I like it, the bird. So let's pop around to the right, pick up, oh, nearly missed it then, pick up those five supplements, and then keep going around to the right for half an alcohol. Oh, and we're actually full. So let's craft a Molotov, because they're great for dealing with groups of infected. Just throw a bottle, get their attention, Molotov them, as you've seen me do in a previous video. Oh, hey buddy. A little rabbit. So then just head on up to these fences. So this um, this section of Bill's Town, there's not that many enemies you've got to deal with. It's mainly just a lot of collecting, getting your crafting supplies up, getting all those artifacts, etc. So we can't go through that gate and there's barbed wire on top. So just pop over <laughs> this. Uh, fireflies. I mean, the little green real things. Yeah, I see that. Sorry, I lost myself for a sec. I think it's really cool that Naughty Dog puts those sort of things in because it just reminds you that, you know, Ellie is, at the end of the day, just a child. She's just a teenager. And, you know, she has to go for a lot. So grab this plank, put it against the building, and head on up. And we're going to get our first modified melee weapon. And essentially, using binding and some blades, you can put a nice little, essentially some scissors, a shiv on the end of your melee weapon, and it'll then be a one-hit kill to whatever you're fighting. But it can only be used once, and then the melee weapon essentially sticks in the enemy, and you just have your normal pipe again. And then the pipe just works as if it was a normal melee weapon and you know, slowly degrades. So put that plank across. There you go. Where do you usually meet him? Don't know. Different places. You've never been here, have you? I know this is where he lives, but no, I ain't never been here personally. And that smoke, think that's him? Sure as hell better be. Well, let's go check it out then. Right, Giant water tower. Um, so, as I was yeah, saying, yeah, the melee weapon just Watch erodes naturally. So in this area, there are two clickers. So there's one in that shed, and there is one just behind that wall towards the back fence there. And essentially, we need to get in the shed because we want to get a rack. It's a half rack. And as soon as you alert one, you alert the other. So how I recommend doing it is taking the one in the shed out with a brick running outside this shed as quickly as possible to grab that second brick and then that? attacking that clicker that will come around the corner just there so he's he's just around where my crosshairs are now just there now ellie will hopefully intervene in this fight and throw something at the second clicker which will give us an opportunity to attack him so that's the brick we're going to grab as soon as we've dealt with this clicker. So you can hear him just around this corner. And just good him. You can hear the other clickers now awake. So we've grabbed this brick. And there he is. I'm hoping Ellie's going to... Yeah, there we go. Ellie's going to throw that and then we can just smash him with the brick. Which we've still got in our hand for some reason. That will probably break in the next hit. But this way we get to keep our melee weapon intact. 
you can use the melee weapon, but as you can see, that, that works just the same, and then you get to click it to keep it. Not click it, they're clickers. All right, pick up that half rag, head in this room, and upstairs. And there are five parts on this side here. There are some supplements here, and then inside. Oh. <laughs> you all right? I'm trying to learn how to whistle. You pick now. You don't know how to whistle. Well, does it sound like I know how to whistle? <laughs> so you pick now to try and whistle when you know Give me a second. the noise is going to attract all the attention. So grab this quarter blades. There are two parts on the side here, and there is a another artifact, the the first artifact of Bill's Town, the Pills Note. So it looks like it's from Bill himself, because he essentially trades with Joel and Tess. So at least we know we're in the right area. So we're now going to head on out, and we're going to go to the ship door, which is just there in front of us. So I'm going to swap, oh can I, I'm going to throw this brick and then I'm going to get this brand new brick because that brick wasn't going to last much longer. And then let's open the ship door. There you go. Nice. And I believe there's a decent amount of things in it. Um, 15 supplements, 10 parts and 3 rifle ammo. Move. There we go. All right, head to this gate, and we're gonna boost Ellie over. Oh, shit, it's jammed from the other side. Here, boost me up. No, that's not such a good idea. Well, yes, it I is. can't boost you up. How else are we gonna open it? She got a point, Joel. All right. Give me your foot. <clears throat> now, just open it. Nothing else. Sure thing. Careful. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Ta da! <laughs> Good job. Thanks. So, you can actually pick up that pipe if you used it earlier, the one that you have with the melee, with the, the upgraded one. So if you need a new pipe, you can pick that one up. It's not upgraded, but it's so just in case you you've damaged your form. Then what? Well, then we go find Tommy. Marlene said he's your brother? And more importantly, he was a firefly. He'd know where to take you. Oh, okay. He lives far from here, which is why we need the car. So head to this garden center hey, area. <laughs> Gnomes. Yeah. Those were gnomes. Man, I had an art book filled with these. I always thought they were super hmm. cute. <laughs> but not that. Not fairies, though. They creep me out. Mm -mm. All right, man. All right, grab the supplements here and head over here for a half binding and some more parts. So five, six, seven, eight. So I've been doing a dance routine there. So we're going to head to towards that police car. And we're gonna go down the alley to the left. Oh, but before we do that, sorry, we're gonna head up these stairs. And we're gonna grab these parts here. One, two, three, eight parts. And yeah, now we're going to drop down into this alley and there is going to be yet more parts behind this dumpster. Two, three, four, five. And then we're going to head into the back of this building for an optional conversation. Our first one of Billstown. And we're getting a lot of parts here, so we best do some good upgrades. Oh, look at that. Would you play this before? No. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, 
there's this character called Angel Knives who, what was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. I was never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. I'm not gonna lie, I would have loved it if they would have inbuilt like a little mini game here and you could play this arcade with Ellie. And Angel Knives there definitely looks like Wolverine, for sure. So let's head in the back here and we're gonna pick up half a blade. And we're going to then head outside and head towards that camper at the bottom. So there's a safe just there that we're going to come back to very shortly once we get the code. Mandatory evacuation. Evacuate to where? Where do you think? Quarantine zone. See, some places got a heads up before the infection showed up. Most didn't. Man, must be hard. Just leaving all your stuff behind like that. That ain't the hard part. And this looks like it would have been a pretty cool high street. A nice little diner there. Travel agency. Irish pub. What's this? Fine antiquities. Music shop jazz club there we go that's definitely where joel would have spent most of his time to so hop onto this police car oh. hop onto the police car and then up onto the camper and there should be a pendant yeah right at the back here fireflies were everywhere huh mm -hmm. hoping to who wang the country to what it was well one nine seven. The vaccine. Maybe they will. Maybe. It's a lot of responsibility for Ellie that being the yeah, cure. It's Bill's handiwork. Anybody else live in this camp? As I know, it's just him. And just by looking like this, yeah, you know, Bill's a pretty, pretty nifty guy. Because I mean, this must have been so hard to build, especially on your own would have infected out and about would have made so much noise and it just looks so like effective like that's a good barricade so grab this note which is going to be the note to bob and it contains our save combination and he did not want to leave town without that save so head all the way back to the safe and there are going to be some parts and some supplements in there. It's definitely always worth doing the shift doors and safes where you can. Not only for 100%, but just because they have some really good items in there. So yeah, 50 parts and 10 supplements. And we're going to have a decent amount of parts for when we can do the upgrades. So just head into this music store. The Blackguard Boys. Come on, Ellie. Whoa. Look at this place. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like knocking over the symbols. All right, and then just head into the back and there is another artifact. So this is artifact number three, the perimeter note. And there is a three quarter bindings on here. And then in the back, there are 10 parts, lots of parts and more symbols. Yay. Anywho. Man, this is kind of sad. What is? All this music that's just sitting here. No one's around to listen to it. I don't know. It doesn't seem right. Nope. Alright, now head down this alley. 
and you can see a nice little tripwire there and that is one of Bill's traps Jeez. and there's a clicker or was a clicker what the hell was that? that would be one of Bill's traps your friend a bit paranoid maybe? no that's putting it lightly what's the deal with this guy? well he helped us smuggle stuff into the cities. He knows how to find things. Well, let's hope we don't blow up trying to find him. Just watch your step, you'll be fine. So grab this quarter rack by the dumpster and we have the final ship door of this section. Let's get that open oh, and man, let's get it. the goodies. 25 parts, three quarter alcohol, and 15 supplements. I believe that puts us out of shivs. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and craft another. So head on up here. That's another tripwire, just so you can have a little closer look. It's the nail bomb, and we'll learn how to make those in a bit. They're really useful. So grab these two arrows. Feel good with the bow? I reckon he is. Grab the ladder and let's head on up. So let's climb on up and there are more. There's another arrow and there is the bow, which is a great weapon. Let me use that. I'm a pretty good shot with that thing. How about we just leave this kind of stuff to me? Well, we could both be armed. Cover each other. I don't think so. I definitely think you should be giving Ellie a weapon. She is more than capable. Also, what I think is really cool is picturing Bill sat here with a few beers, his bow and arrow, and just picking off infected. Just chilling. Yeah, so head across this plank, wait for Ellie to come across. And we're going to grab the plank and put it against this wall. Because we're going to need it to go across. Um, once we get across to the next section, there is going to be a clicker. Um, great time to practice your bow skills. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, as I said, great time to practice your bow skills. It's all clear, come on up. And if you get a headshot with the bow, you've got a real high chance of recovering the arrow. And a headshot will kill the enemy. One shot, one kill, which is really good, especially in a in, you know, in a game with not that much ammo. And the chance to get the arrow back. I mean, what's the not to like? So the click is just here. Now, the bow, it does have a bit of sway, so you can see it. If I just aim it straight at this clicker's head, you can see it does sway. Now, you can improve that, and it's something which I recommend doing with the supplements we've been collecting. So we've got 125 supplements, and we've got these five Enjoy. things we can upgrade. Now, if you want the trophy, for fully upgrading Joel, you need to upgrade all these four. You do not need to do the Shipmaster for it. Now, for this playthrough, I don't recommend doing crafting speed and healing speed because we're not going to be healing during combat or crafting during combat, really. The Shipmaster um, is great. It helps protect you if you get grabbed by a clicker. You can use it to take it down. However, I don't want to be wasting my ships on that. I want to be using them all for the ship doors and doing it on survivor mode. There's not that much materials, especially blades. So that leaves us with max health and weapon sway. Quietly. I don't see us getting hit that much, so I would definitely recommend weapon sway. Now, if you see, as I said before, the sway on that. And if we just upgrade Weapon Sway with our 50 supplements, you can see it's a lot steadier. 
right? So you can take down that clucker with the bow, or if you prefer not to, just head on down here quietly and just creep around it. You can bash it in with the brick as well if you prefer. And yeah, as I said, if you get a headshot, you've got a good chance of getting your arrow back. So it's what makes the bow really great. You can use a longer ranges because you can upgrade the range of the bow. And it does not alert any enemies around it. It's silent. So let's head on down here. Do what you want with the clicker. I feel bad for not taking it out because if you think of the grand, grander scheme of things, you know, one less clicker, one less infected. Less people have chances of being getting infected, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not being socially responsible here. See that so, water? Stay underneath it, okay? Just keep your head low and you'll be fine. All right. Exactly what Joel said. There's the nail bomb. Just go underneath it. Now, there's two nail bombs here, but first, we're going to go into the room with the banging. So there's a runner in here. You hear that? And yeah. you cannot avoid it. You. Shit, you're gonna go in there? I wanna see what we can find. You're gonna find my body when I die from a heart attack. <laughs> Don't worry. I see, got this. You can't stealth kill this. You have to take it out with the brick or your melee weapon. And it doesn't matter how quickly you go into this room, it's still not gonna be there until you get around this corner and you head in here. You can hear it moving there. So make sure you've got your brick equipped. Head in and take it down. Jeez. And I recommend. That thing scared the <sighs> shit out of me. Well, I understand. While we're here, let's right. search the place. I recommend equipping the brick because otherwise you'll use your melee weapon, and that's a real waste using it on a runner. The modification. So we wanted these five supplements and this artifact, which is the note to Rachel, which is artifact number. Four. I'll just leave that and you can pause the video if you want to read it. Do you think they ever found each other? How the hell would I know? Well, I'd like to think they did. Ever the romantic, Ellie. Let's get the hell out of here. So, pop on out and grab one of these bowls. We will come back for the brick. No trespassers. Bill really doesn't want people here. And we're going to throw the bottle at that nail bomb. Now you want to do it from more face on. You don't want to get too close because it will damage you. And you don't want to do it from this angle because if you do, there's a chance it will miss. And you don't want to be wasting those bottles because you want to keep hold of the brick. So wait for it to auto lock like that. And there we go. Flop it. It's a lot of sound. There's one way to do it. So grab that bowl. And we're going to see that. Use Get it back. against that one there. <coughs> and there's a brick here that you can pick up. So oh, out of the way early. Finally, grab this eight revolver ammo. And there's actually more revolver ammo around here. In Stay here. Close. But I believe I'm actually full. Yeah, the maximum it can take is 18 rounds. So, as you know, if you play video games, it's never a good thing when you start getting more and more ammo. It means there's a big fight coming up. And that's what's going to happen in the next video. That's when we're going to cover it. We're about 25 minutes long now, so... I will cut it here. But, um... Yeah, the ne next video we're going to take on quite a few more enemies and we're going to get to see Bill, hopefully. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed it and as always, like, comment and subscribe. I really do appreciate your guys' feedback. Thank you. See you on the next one.